Hello again, it's nice to see that you've returned. For more art adventures, we're gonna have fun and do some art with culture too, cause every day is special. Hello, hello, my amazing grade threes and fours up there at OPK School. It is me, Lance Cardinal. So happy to be back here again with you to make some amazing creative magic with you. It's my favorite time of the week. I'm so glad to see your smiling faces and I'm so proud to be in your good graces. Yes, that's right. I'm so proud to be coming from OPK Wabaska area as well. That's right. I'm a member of Treaty 8, Big Song Cree Nation. Very, very proud to be from up there where you guys are from because you know what? It's so nice to be from a small town and have amazing traditions and cultures and all that kind of stuff happening. I just love it. Now, of course, the first thing we always say every time we see each other is what? That's right. We say, Tanse! And that's it right there. So on the count of three, I want to hear you guys say nice and loud, Tanse! Are you ready? One, two, three! Tanse! <laughs> oh, that's right, amazing, you guys. Good work. Now, it is time to talk about the Cree word of the day. That's right, the Cree word of the day is the word that tells us what today's art adventure is going to be all about. So do you want to know what the Cree word of the day is? Are you ready? All right, here it is. That's right. Nipia mehau kisigo. Nipaya mehau kisigao. And that means Christmas. So the Cree word of the day is Christmas, and that brings us to our special, special craft project. Now, the Christmas project we're doing today has to do with this right here. Anyone know what this is? <laughs> yes, of course you do. It's a Christmas tree, and today's special art project goes on the Christmas tree. Are you ready to see it? All right, here it is. Today we're going to be making this super cute Christmas ornament. That's right. This is such a cute little Christmas ornament that can go on your tree at home. Of course, this tree is way too small, but you can see here it's so, so cute. And that's today's project. Very fun, very easy, and it's so, so, so cute. All right, so we're gonna make that today. We need our assistant to maybe help us. Let's see. I will look for, ah, right here. This little guy can hold it for us. Would you hold our special little Christmas ornament, sir. Oh, <laughs> he, wants to, he wants to hold it his own special way. And who are we to say? All right, there we go, buddy. Good job. Thank you so much. He's going to hold that right there for us while we get together all of our supplies. As always, we have to make sure all the supplies are together so we can be ready to do our project. Now, the first thing we're going to need, of course, are popsicle sticks. And I have some right... Oh, here's some right down here. A whole jar. I have different sizes here, so that's perfect. What else should we get? Oh, paper. I need some yellow paper and some black paper. We have those right here, yellow and black. Just enough scraps, I don't need too much, so I got some used ones here that I can use as well. Now we need some pom-poms. Yes, all sorts of pom-poms to decorate our tree, so I have a whole nice big plate of those right here. Check it out, so many different colors. Isn't that the coolest? I love pom-poms, and these ones are so fun. All right, next we're gonna need, oh, string. So this stuff here is what we use to hang our ornament up, so that's going to be very important. Now today we're going to be doing some painting as well, and as you know, I always love for you to get all the supplies ahead of time. Make sure the paint is ready in the plates, make sure you have your clothes that you need, paper towels and water, so let's get all that together right now. So I have the water right here, which is great. You can put the water in a jar or an old container, anything like that, it'll totally work out. I also have some paint. I already got some green paint ready to go here, so you can do that. But if you have a paint, uh, a squeeze your paint, squeeze the paint in right before you start, okay? Let's put that there. We're also going to need a paint brush, of course, and some paper towels to wipe off our brush after we rinse it, okay? So I'm going to put some of these supplies on this side over here. And a tree man can stand over here and hold our ornament. And we'll put those here and this one here. Today we have a lot of stuff on the desk because we have Santa Claus and a tree. It's a special Christmas episode. All right, there we go. Everything's in place. I think we have everything we need. Oh, we need some glue and a pencil. Here they are right here. Uh, sorry, scissors and a pencil. And there they are. And as well, we're going to need some glue. Now, I'm going to be using a glue gun today. As you know, I always do. 
but you can use whatever kind of glue you have at school. You can use white glue or um, glue stick or uh, whatever kind of glue you have as long as it's uh, going to stick on there. Now, as always, because I use a glue gun, I can work very quickly, but sometimes glue takes a while to dry if you're not using a glue gun. So take your time with the project. If you have to pause the video uh, to let some paint dry, go ahead and do that. It's so important that you do what's best for you and your class, all right? Okay, everyone, let's begin our project now. First thing we're gonna do, of course, is put together our popsicle stick tree. Now, you don't want something very skinny like this. You wanna make sure you have a nice, thick uh, popsicle stick, and I have some right here. So we need three. Make sure they're all the same. Piak, Nisa, Ninsta, perfect, love it. Put that aside for now. We have three popsicle sticks just like this. Now, we wanna glue these popsicle sticks in a triangular shape by making sure that it's equal distance from all sides of our stick like that, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is glue the top together. Now, like I said, I'm using a glue gun today, so it's gonna be fast for me. Now make sure when you're gluing the top that it's the right length so this sits correctly, okay? So that looks about right for me. There we go. Now I'm gonna glue this one. There we go. And press that right on there. Yes. Perfect. Wonderful. It's a triangle. But also it can be um, like a throwing star. <laughs> but don't do that. It's very dangerous. Um, at least not at school. Okay, so anyway, there's our beautiful triangular tree. You can see it's shaped just like that one, but it's missing one major ingredient. That's right, the paint. So let's begin painting. So we pull up our sleeves, put on gloves if we want to, and make sure we're not wearing any clothes that we, we don't mind, that we want to stay clean because we're gonna get paint here and there, maybe on your clothes. So make sure you're covered here. Even if you wear something on your clothes, on your shirt here, a uh, piece of fabric or a paper towel to protect yourself, do that. But you know, if you're um, not that messy, then don't worry about it. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to get, oh, you know what I need for this? Is some paper to put down on the table. Give me one second. It's always good when you're doing painting, like I always say, to put paper down on your desk. Now it can be regular paper or it can be newspaper. It can be whatever you have that you don't mind throwing away after to keep your space protected, okay? So we have our paint right here and our green triangle right there. All right, let's begin painting. Now you don't have to put on too much paint when you're painting. It just has to go on all the way. But today, we're gonna be going all the way to the other side of this ornament when we paint. And normally when I paint with you, I say, just paint the one side. It's gonna be hung up and no one's gonna notice the back. But today is different. Today we wanna to paint the back because this is gonna be on the Christmas tree and it might spin and turn as it's hanging. We wanna make sure the back doesn't look like popsicle sticks. We make sure it looks like a tree. Now there we go, I have the front side pretty much all painted up. Let's get the blow dryer and speed up the drying process. And you all know I have a blow dryer to do this, but you can just, if you don't have blow dryer, you just have to wait. <laughs> it's not that big of a deal. Oh, we have glue stick, glue gun uh, hairs all over this thing. There we go. Get that paint dry, all nice and dry. Perfect. Now, it doesn't have to be fully dry, just enough to work with so we flip it over and paint again. There we go, and let's paint the backside. I love to paint. I love to paint and make things colorful. Because Christmas has all the colors of the world. And so you hope you like colors too. Yes, of course, I love making things bright and colorful and cheerful because it makes me feel good and it makes me feel happy to make other people feel good. So I love that. So we have the tree all painted here on both sides. I think we're done with the green paint, so I'm gonna rinse my brush out. Like I always say, Rinse that brush as quickly as possible when you're done with it, because the longer you let it dry on the brush, the harder it'll be to, to, to rinse off. And if you leave it on the brush for long, like an hour or something, the brush will be destroyed forever. It will not be able to wash off. Because remember, acrylic paint is plastic, if you can believe that. It's kind of like a rubber. 
So there we go, I rinse off my brush and no green color, so it's clean. Let's blow dry this and move on to the next part. Oh, that's not my blow dryer, that's my glue gun. <laughs> There we go. All right. And there we go. I'm all done my paintings. I'm gonna move this away for now. Leave it lift with our tree and isn't that cool? Made a triangle. <laughs> Very awesome, we'll put that to the side. Right down here in my storage area, as well as my painting supplies. We're all done painting for the day. You can put that away as well. Perfect. All right, let's move on to the next part of our project. Oh, painting supplies away. All right, the next step we're gonna do is cut out a star for the top, okay? So we have our green tree, just like this. Now let's get our yellow paper and let's make a star. So sometimes stars can be hard to draw. I know that some of you know how to draw stars already, but there's a few different ways. Let me get some markers and show you a couple tricks. There's a couple different ways you can do a star. You can do the crisscross form like this, which is the most common type of star. It goes like this. And then you can cut it out. But you can also just draw the star as, as carefully as you can and that'll work as well. So I want to be a little bit smaller than that for the top of that. So we want to draw a triangle. And then let's go straight out to the sides, just like this. <laughs> and then we're going to go down like that and we're going to stop where this line would go through here okay or that one would go through there right there and continue on this line down that way and this line down that way like that we turn our star and we go back this way and we're going to go down and then like that there we go it's not the most perfect star but hey it's my star and i love it just the way it is just like I love you, just the way you are. And nobody's perfect, believe me. <laughs> now let's cut the star out. First we cut it smaller so it's easier to work with. Put all the scraps away in the recycling. Now we cut out our star. I'm gonna cut it a little bit smaller than I drew it so that none of the black lines show on my tree. But you might like the black lines on your tree. I just want my star to be bright with no color or black lines on the edges. But again, your tree star could be a sticker or made of tin foil or made of anything different. It can be whatever you want because again, it's your special project. It's up to you and none of it's wrong. It's whatever you want to do, okay? All right, so I have my star now and it's a little bit smaller than I wanted it to be, but that's okay. Look, it's a little bit smaller, but hey, it'll work anyway. All right, so we um, also need to cut on the bottom the flower pot. You see here our little guy holding our tree has a flower pot in the bottom. We're going to make that one right now and that's made of paper as well. So we're going to cut a small rectangle out just like this. There we go, like that. And then we're going to cut on an angle, okay, like this. We're making a sort of a flower pot or a pot that would hold the tree. I'll make that a little bit smaller and there it is right there. Perfect. So now we have a star and a flower pot that's gonna go on our tree like so and like so. Oh my goodness, it's coming together so nicely. I love it already. Let's glue those in place. Now, I hope everyone there is excited for Christmas. It's coming up so very soon. This is the last episode of Art Adventures before the Christmas break and you guys are off for a whole month. Isn't that amazing? You're gonna be able to visit uh, uh, the forest and see all the animals. You're able to go around, maybe go for a skidoo ride with your family or maybe build a snowman and have Christmas dinner with your family at home. And maybe for some of you, it's going to be a very, very small Christmas this year, but that's because of COVID-19. We have to do our best to stay safe and to stay distant, even though sometimes we want to visit our cousins or our friends. We can't do it this Christmas. We'll do our best to stay distant from each other, or if we are going to see each other, 
stay safe, wear our masks, and you know, no hugging. <laughs> I know it's the best part of seeing people, but we have to try to be as careful as we can, all right? And I trust you guys well. All right, so I've glued the flower pot to the bottom of the tree just like that. Now we're gonna glue the star on top. Put that right up here. Perfect, there it is. I love it so far, so, so cool. And uh, yeah, love my Christmas tree. Uh, what's our next step we're gonna do? Oh, we're gonna put on our pom-poms, yes! Time to put the lights on. <laughs> now, even though we're not using real lights, we're using pom-poms today, we can pretend these are lights and uh, make it exciting anyway, right? There's so many different colors to choose from for pom-poms. I'm just gonna put a whole handful there for us and we'll pick as we go, okay? Okay, let's begin. So I like to put glue on the pom-pom and stick the pom-pom on the craft as opposed to putting the craft, the glue on the, the craft first, okay? Let's do it that way. So we're gonna put glue on the pom-poms. Now there's no special way to do this. Just use your imagination and your eye. Trust your eye, like I always say, and just spread it apart. Don't think about it too much. Just glue it, pop it on. Just like lights on the tree. There's no specific place for them to go. They're just everywhere. And maybe you want to do a certain color scheme to your tree, like all yellow lights or all blue lights, or maybe only yellow and green and purple only. It's up to you. It's your color choices. It's your tree and it's your special project. And like I always say, there's no wrong choices in art, right? So you can put as little or as many as you want. I'm gonna put on a bit more, fill up all those spaces as much as possible. Some very interesting colored pom-poms here. Purple, and then I have also lilac, which is like a pink. It's very interesting. A lot of pinks, a lot of blues. Let's get some more blues on here. Right there. Now, do you see what I'm doing with the glue gun? I want to just tell you why I always make little circles. When I use a glue gun, I glue the little piece and then the string, see the string? I do this and it cuts it off. It's just a little trick I've learned over the years using a glue gun. It makes it so the string doesn't stretch too far. But there will be strings, but this just helps. All right, I have a couple more to put on, I think. One, let's see, um, maybe a white one. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, let's try white. White lights, cool. Maybe one more right there. Perfect, I think that's exactly right. Put these pom-poms back. And there it is. Oh, I got a little black pom-pom on there. House. There we go. Doesn't that look so cool? I absolutely love that. My Christmas tree with my little pom-pom lights on it. So much fun. Now we have one more step to do, and that's to put a string on the top so we can hang on the tree when you give it to someone you love or hang it in the classroom, right? Let's do that right now. So I have some twine here, but you can use whatever kind of string you want and make sure that this, the loop is big enough for a tree branch to fit through, okay? So just try one of your fingers through it. If your finger can go through it, a tree branch can go through it too. All right. So I'm gonna take my string. And I'm gonna glue it right to the back of my ornament, okay? Now I'm gonna put them a little bit spread apart so that they'll stay on and it won't turn on the tree, okay? And I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on there. Glue it down just like that. There it is. Glue it on the back. And there we go. Oh, it's a little bit crooked. Ah, perfect. There. My Christmas tree is done. It is so cute. I absolutely love my little pom-pom Christmas tree ornament. And I know that you guys are gonna have so much fun making these. And I bet you, whoever you give it to this Christmas is gonna absolutely love it. Because like I always say, your art is amazing. And I hope you send me some more pictures. I love seeing all the stuff that you're doing over there in OPK. And hopefully in the new year, I'll be coming all the way over there to do a nice socially distant visit and see how you guys are all doing in the new year. All right, 2021, new start. So there we have a tree here, perfect. I have two of these amazing little trees now to give away or to hang on my own Christmas tree and I'm so excited. So that does it for me here, Lance Cardinal for Art Adventures and I hope you had a great day. And as always, before we go, may the creator watch over you as long as the sun shines, the grass grows and the river flows. Merry Christmas everyone, have a great holiday. Bye now. <laughs> Love these.
hanging on my tree.